Hey there, I'm Chef Ani and today we are making oat waffles. I could not be more excited about this recipe. I love oat waffles. I think it's a tremendous way to sneak some oats into your diet, into a beautiful, healthy breakfast item that's going to get the family super excited and jumping out of bed in the morning. My family loves this recipe and I hope you do too. It is one of my favorites. So enough talking, let's get cooking. So this recipe cannot get any simpler. All you need is to put everything in the blender and just blend till smooth, super simple. And what we're going to start with is some plant-based milk. Today I'm using almond milk. You want a pretty hefty amount because the oats are going to uh, soak up some of that liquid. And the reason I like to put this at the bottom of the blender is because if we start with our oats, they get down in the bottom and they start working against you. And that's not what you want first thing in the morning. You don't want to be like digging things out while you're trying to like wake up and get ready for the day. You want to just have things go super smooth first thing, right? So we have the milk down at the bottom. We're going to put in our oats, try to get them all in the blender. We're going to go in with a little bit of sweetener. Now this can be completely optional on what you want to do. You could use dates, you could use all natural cane sugar. Today I'm using maple syrup because that's what I like. You could use agave nectar and it's just a touch of it. So whatever makes you happy is going to be phenomenal. So we want a nice flavor to our waffles. So I'm going to add in some vanilla bean paste. Now if you don't have vanilla bean paste though, you could use vanilla extract. That'll work just fine. I'll make sure to link the one that I use on my website. So make sure to head over there. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in getting this recipe. We're also going to add in a little bit of salt and we're also going to add in a little bit of oil, which is optional. And you could use whatever kind of oil you like to use. You could use a little olive oil, which is what I'm using today. You could use coconut oil that has a really good flavor. So whatever oil you like, will work or no oil. If you'd rather not have the oil, that's fine too. And the last thing I'm going to add in is some cardamom. And this is because it adds such a nice, warm, comforting aroma and also taste to these waffles. And it's very common to put cardamom in Norwegian baked goods or waffles. It's like essential and an, abs an absolutely essential thing, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And it's, you, if you smell this, if you've ever wondered what Norway smells like, take a little bit of cardamom. It's like Norway right here. So let's put a little bit of happiness right in there. Now all we have left to do is to blend this until smooth. Now you could use whatever waffle iron you like to use. This is actually a Norwegian style waffle maker or Scandinavian style waffle maker. These little hearts, which I really like. And I grew up with it. So to wake up and have breakfast and have these little hearts, it's super special. And it like reminds me of like growing up in that warm, fuzzy memory. So I really like this, but we also have other waffle makers too. And you know, like you could do whatever you want to with that. Mom is mentioning we've not tried it in the Belgian waffle maker. So you're on your own with that one. <laughs> Let me know if you have a Belgian waffle maker and you try it. It would really help us all if you would just let us know whether or not that worked. So it takes a little bit longer to cook oat waffles. I normally go two beeping cycles. <laughs> so I make sure that it's nice and cooked, um, but that's up to you. But if you like even a crispier waffle, if you go a little bit longer, it creates a very nice crispy waffle. That looks amazing. Okay, so we have our waffles now and all we have left to do is to eat them and I'm excited about that. This is such a favorite. As you can see, I absolutely love these waffles. They are delicious and such a wonderful thing to have in your back pocket for a quick and healthy breakfast. As always, you can get this recipe on my website, chefani.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and I look forward to seeing you next week with another video.